Rolex GMT Master II watches are considerably hard to find at retail. It's kind of a bummer because they're really iconic and gorgeous timepieces. Just think of the Mad Men era and the golden age of flying. The GMT Master II back row masterfully blends sporty and elegant design elements that, well, are really familiar because Rolex really only incorporates incremental change into their new releases. But it's hard to criticize because why fix it if it isn't broken? In a way, its simplicity makes it a really versatile watch, a sort of wrist chameleon ripe for practically any environment, the perfect blend of formal and functional. The watch is not made of unobtainium, as many would now believe due to its scarcity, but Rolex's coveted 904L stainless steel, 40 millimeters in diameter, 12.2 millimeters thick, and 48 millimeters across the wrist lug to lug, the Rolex GMT Master II Batgirl is well within that Goldilocks zone for wrists worldwide. The watch has the heft of a precious metal. When you put it on, you can feel its price tag on your skin. It is rated to a depth of 100 meters, but the screw down crown that secures its water resistance utilizes the same trip lock technology found on Rolex Submariner watches. This can be seen via the three dots under the engraved coronet on the crown, suggesting Rolex may be under promising, but over delivering. So why the Batgirl nickname? The Batman moniker stems from the debut of a black and blue 24 hour GMT Cerachrome bezel that collectors believe echo the aesthetics of the Dark Knight. Truth be told, Batman would never slap the watch on his wrist, but it would make the perfect watch for Bruce Wayne when not donning the cape and cowl. Since Batman has become synonymous with the recently discontinued reference paired with an oyster bracelet, collectors got really creative and dubbed the new Jubilee version the Batgirl. While the Jubilee is more formal and less utility driven and aesthetic, it is still a highly robust bracelet that will cater to wrists of any gender. The easy link adjustment system within the highly secure oyster clasp allows you to quickly adjust the size of the bracelet in increments of one millimeter with five millimeters of total adjustment. This enables you to effectively add or remove a link all without a screwdriver or a watchmaker on hand. The Jubilee bracelet is not the only thing new to the modern Rolex GMT Master II watch. It has also received an upgrade in its movement with the latest Rolex engine and technology, the in-house caliber 3285. Its new Chronogy escapement has a much more efficient driving system and extends the total running time of the watch to 70 hours. This means the watch will last an entire weekend without a wind, assuming you would dare take it off your wrist. It is regulated with superlative accuracy, running within plus or minus two seconds per day. It is a shame such a stunning timepiece is so hard to find. With many consumers unable to traverse the enigma that is the Rolex waitlist, they find themselves having to succumb to the realities and premiums of the marketplace. But for those who do manage to obtain one, well, put in a good word for me because I love to see one in a store. But in all seriousness, it's hard to expect disappointment if you manage to get it. And it's fair to bet it will perpetually find time on your wrist. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to the Time and Tide channel, especially if you want to hear more of this American accent.